Welcome back to What Are Two Nibs with General Disturbance. This is an ELC Evan 90, it's the Tier 8 French light tank, and we're located on the eastbourne of Airfield. And the name of the commander is Fort Hugh 2. Yes, it's another of my alternate replays, and this time I'm in a Tier 8 light tank. So you're going to see how a light tank behaves to get the best from Arty, and I'm going to take this out and show you exactly how it can be done, how you can win a battle and turn it around. Or turn a battle around and then win it, I should say. Okay, battle has commenced and I'm off. Now, I'm headed off to the usual spot. There's a particular rock with a bush, which is very good for spotting. And I'm going to go over there. I didn't know at the time that I was going to have a bit of competition for that bush. I'm making the shortcut. And I'm still loading. But I see a batch at 12 ton. So I realise I can't go to the far rock. I have to go to this near one. And so I pull up here. Quickly do a handbrake turn. Into position. And I've got company. A T37 turned up as well. Now that AMX 12 time managed to sneak in whilst we weren't uh, looking because I was more concerned about who was behind me than who was in front of me. And I'm looking around for target and an AMX 65 time comes in. I put a round into him. Fire another round in which bounces. Fire a third but that misses. I'm stunned and tracked by the arty shot. So I had to pull back. So GW Tiger P hit me for 300 hit points. Uh, but I did get 233 hit points on the 65 ton and 152 spotting. Right, so I'm now reloading. Pulled out just to see if I can spot what that AMX 65 ton's up to. Can't see anything. Have a quick look, see, can I see that bat chat? No. Pull back behind the rock. I don't want to get hit by the uh, arty again. I know he's in reload, but he's probably almost complete. The, the T-37's pulled ahead of me. I think he's trying to get the spotting uh, value there, the spot spotting assistance, because he'll be closer to the enemy. And so he's pushing through that bush. Now, I decide to pull away from this spot because I think it's obviously going to be a bit dangerous staying around that spot. Because if he's sticking his nose out like that, I am very likely to get hit uh, when he makes a mistake. And he's already uh, spotted that bat chat again. I'm coming up to the hill, I'm going into the usual spotting position or tank destroyer position. There's nobody up here. Okay, I want to take a position up here on the mountain, see if I can spot the pass. And of course our little friend in the back chat 12 ton who's over there. Can't see him at the moment, but I'm expecting he's going to pull out. Now, pull back a bit. Have a look and see, can I see from the other side? No, there's a Tiger P and 65 ton. We're one up at the moment on tanks. We just lost the Spick, so we're now even. That's an Oho, I'm trying to protect him. But he's taking fire, obviously from Marty. He's stunned. Got a T-3485M down to the right there. And the Oho's moving forward. Now, it may be a mistake because he hasn't got any support to go with him. There's the backjack. Now he's in a bit of an open position, he's gone behind that rock. If he pulls back to the right, I can get a shot into him. I'm loaded with standard AP. And I'm waiting for him to pull back. That's the position I think, they're around about there. He'll become visible again. Artie's going after him, he's just marked the target. And I'm waiting for an Artie round to go in. Two tanks going for him, the T-3485 and the T-37. T-37 gets wiped out, I put a round into the, uh, to the back chat and he gets killed. He's taken out by the uh, T-3485, who's also taking fire, and um, he's now tracked. I don't think there's anything I can do to save him. He's going to die. Uh, we've got a 12-ton poke the uh, the pass, and uh, the T-3485M has now gone down. We're three tanks down now. We're in a very bad position. I'm one tank, one shell out of my magazine, and oh, that AMX 12-ton made a classic error. Came around the corner. And I hit him hard straight away. Now I'm going to pull away from my spot just in case RT decides to take a pot shot at me. And I'm now down to just one shell, so I'm going to have to reload. And I'm pulling back to my position again. 
That may have been a mistake, actually, all, uh, all things considered. Normally, you should actually pull away to a different position. I've gone for a reload. Oh, we just lost that 3002. We're now still three tanks down. There's an AMX 65 ton there, the same one. Uh, he's down to very, very low hit points, less than 10%. Okay, so we've now down just to me, a medium, and three arty against, oh, well, a lot of enemy. There's at least seven enemy now, so three arties, a heavy, two mediums, and a tank destroyer. So I'm in a bit of a pickle here. Uh, and a round goes in there from our team. We've got our uh, M12 over on the other side. And here's a Tiger P. And whoa! Bye bye, Tiger P. And I'm pulling away from the spot because I realize RT probably aiming in that position. I pull around to this position here. Holding, I can hope that hold that corner. Now I pull forward again. Again, this is a bit of a mistake. I'm turned around so I'm facing the opposite way. Whoa! Uh, the rain blind fires me. He obviously didn't know where I was, but at least I know where he is. He's obviously in that corner. And that's going to become relevant later on. Okay, I'm still stunned. I'm still down by one round. And so I pull up to this corner. Um, I can't see an enemy in sight. I am also now the only tank left on my team. There's only three RT and me. But I am the perfect spotter because I'm an RT player. I know exactly what the RT need. They need sight of the enemy so they can target it and then something to distract. I pop a reload. At the worst possible moment, the T-3485 comes into view. I can't shoot at him. I'm still reloading and I've got a few, good few seconds. But my RT are quick on the draw. They put a 309 hit point hit into him and I'm still reloading. Ten seconds to go. He's obviously going to untrack. Yeah, and he's got hit again. This time by one of the RT over on the other side of the map, the M40. And I'm loaded and I kill him dead. Finish him off my RT and I get hit again. This time again, it's, uh, I think it was the um, Lorraine. Anyway, I know where the Lorraine is. So what I'm going to do now is go and find the enemy. I'm loaded, but I've only got one round short. I've got to try and find the enemy. There's one of them. Dickamax. It's the tank destroyer. Okay, there's only one tank destroyer. One medium tank. I'm going to pop up here around the corner. Keep him in sight. I ask for fire assistance on the target. Locked on. I'm going to do a circuit. Come around the other side. But I don't need to worry because the M12 is quick on the draw. And takes out the uh, Dickamax. So now, find the RT. There's three RT on the enemy team. We know where one of them is. He's over in this corner. It's the Lorraine, the 15550, the tier 7 French RT, and we see the GW Tiger P. And I highlight him and ask for a request for fire. My RT are responding, they're going to fire at him. And I've found the second one. It's the Lorraine 15550. I put a round into him. I've only got uh, one round after. Oh, I screw that shot up. But I've just found the third RT. It's the Hummel. And I'm going to do a quick circuit, come back around the rock. I'm still reloading, but I can keep that Lorraine in sight. And he's been hit by the RT again. I'm going to go a handbrake turn. Keep behind him. Keep watching him. My friend's target, so I'm going to keep away from him. Let them kill him. And they do. I'm now going after the Hummel. I've locked on. And one round in. Two rounds in. That's three down. Three RTs down. Now, only this medium to deal with. And it looks like he's AFK. I've spotted everyone I could. My team has killed what they could. They've killed two of the RTs for me. I've killed the third. And now it's just a matter of killing this VK3002D. And he's AFK, so I can just stay away from him. RT's targeting. I'm uh, requesting fire on him. And RT rounds are coming in to deal with him. The Burt turns up. And the Burt's going to derp him. And he does 138 hit points. I'm almost loaded. One round in. Two rounds in, and last round as the RT round comes in, and I claim the kill, unfortunately. Um, I denied it to my RT, but I so wanted that last kill. But uh, that goes to show exactly how you should play a light tank. You should help your RT score the kills. And uh, if you can do this and repeat this in battles, then RT will love you because you give them all the damage uh, that they can score with uh, safety.
Uh, and that one worked really well. So let's have a look at the end of battle stats and see how I got on. Well, it was only a second class tanker for ELC Evan 90 Fork U2. Uh, he also, or I also picked up a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. I got four exactly. And luckily I also picked up a spotter badge. I spotted a huge amount of damage. Uh, 1,596 hit points of spotting. Um, I also picked up a fire for effect because I did more damage than the hit points of my own vehicle and you can see that I only narrowly missed out getting a scout badge as well because I managed to spot seven of the enemy right from uh, not only from the start with the 65 ton the 12 ton and uh, several of the other tanks that appeared the T-3485 uh, the Lorraine, the Dickamax, the Hummel and the Batchat. Uh, if I'd only spotted two more, I would have had that scout badge as well. And that would have been really nice. But uh, let's have a look at the team scores. Oh, by the way, the win 8 for that one was 5980. So, um, I didn't do the most damage. That went to the M12. And uh, welcome, uh, well done, Mikal X X102. Did a fantastic job with that M12. He really was piling in those shells to hit the enemy and uh, do as much as he could. He managed to get uh, one kill um, and he did 927 uh, XP. But when it came to uh, kills, I was right at the top of the table with four. And when it came to with the uh, P43 tur with three and the Burt managed to get two. So he was doing quite well. And the M40, M43 also managed to get a kill. Uh, he also picked up the Confederate and he picked up the high caliber and confederate so the m12 and the m40 between them were really doing very well and they they scored very nice win eights um he managed to get 3382 the uh, m40 managed 1639 and uh, the uh, burt managed 3074 on his win eight as well so they were working extremely hard to get these results and uh, they deserve to uh, to get some good uh, figures after all we were three tanks down during this battle so let's have a look at the uh, um, the final, the XP. Yeah, I came top of the table on that, just narrowly miss, uh, beating the uh, M12, who, as I said, did well. Uh, and of course, the Burton, the uh, M40, M43, not forgetting the P43 tur. So let's have a look at detail reports, see how we did. 14 shots fired, 12 direct hits, 11 penetration. Damage of 2,028 hit points, of which 435 are at more than 300 meters. I did receive one hit, one penetration, unfortunately, and uh, uh, that was from the RT, I'm afraid. 300 hit points, a direct hit from the GW Panther on the enemy uh, side. Um, and I did receive two hits as a result of splash damage as well. Uh, that was while I was up on the mount, uh, while I was taking pot shots at the enemy from there. The Lorraine 15550 got those ones in. Uh, I spotted seven enemy vehicles. Uh, did damage to eight enemy vehicles and killed four of them. Damage assistance of 1,596 hit points. Um, I, on a premium account, I earned 84,209 credits. And after auto um, uh, repair and ammunition resupply, and I did use a clip of uh, APCR during that battle, in fact, two clips of APCR, um, I actually ended up with 42,781 credits. I earned 1,554 XP, times two for the first victory, 777 for a mission completion, and another 155 for premium vehicle tier. So I uh, ended up with 4,040 XP altogether. But I think actually, you know, as it says, you need a good scout if you're an RT player to really make an effect in the battle. And uh, if you can have somebody who knows what they're doing as an RT player, uh, then all I had to do was find the enemy, let my RT players do the rest and keep the enemy in sight whilst I was enticing them, keeping them interested. Uh, and then obviously it was uh, an easy way to win a battle. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this replay. I mean, it was certainly enjoyable for me to play it. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this replay. If you did, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it will be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.